armed with a special grant from the cooperative, the Cooperative Academy of Manchester have decided to install some bees. My name is Alan Moth, I'm the facilities manager at the Cooperative Academy. Uh, we thought about getting bees for quite a bit of time and we were asked by our principal uh, to would we consider getting some bees and who, who would like to be trained to look after them. I put my name forward right away because I know they're, they're endangered and you know there's not a lot of bees and things like that knocking about so I thought to myself well you might as well give it a go and you might learn something really. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with them. The garden area is worked on by both pupils and staff and at the back there is a specially designed space for looking after honeybees. When you buy honeybees they usually come in the form of a nucleus which is a small box containing four or five frames of bees, one queen, the whole lot making a colony of three to five thousand bees. Normally the nucleus is left for a day by the side of the hive and then the following day the bees are placed into the hive. However, it's going to be really bad weather over the next few days, so we made a decision to put the bees straight into their final home. Hi, my name's Keith Whitaker. I am the Assistant Facilities Manager of the Corporate Academy of Manchester. Uh, like Alan here, we sent on a training course uh, regarding bees, uh, and we, we sorted them out uh, a decent space over there uh, for them to have the bees in. We've got two hives in there, and uh, one colony of bees at the moment, and we're both, well I'm, uh, total novice beekeeper, hoping to learn a lot more. When you first get bees, they have to be fed because there are precious few stores in the frames that the colony is made of. It doesn't take very long for the bees to find their way into the hive and the whole area becomes peaceful and inhabited by a lovely colony of honeybees. <laughs> 